moments in life which can't be rehearsed. This woman is the greatest violinist alive. We're so lucky, really. Nothing can change what we have together. It's been like a dream in so many ways. There are dreams from which you don't wake up. I've got the strangest feeling in my hand. Like what? Well, as if it didn't belong to me. I mean, my mind was telling it to do one thing, but the fingers just wouldn't respond. Let me give it to you straight, Miss Anderson. I think you are walking a very fine line. I've never been able to believe the way you can play. I just saw a piece of that die. In other words, I'm finished. Is that what you're saying? Doctor, I want you to make it stop. I mean, my hand, something else could go any day now. I don't know when. There's got to be some method, some trick. Otherwise, this concert, any concert, how could I possibly get up on stage? I, it'd be impossible. There are times when talent counts less than courage. Like it or not, but you had a glimpse of what most of us spend our whole lives avoiding. I surprise you. But when I look at that wheelchair of hers, I'm terrified. I've already lost my music. How can I live without my husband, too? You don't understand me, do you? I need you, Penny. You must be a very unhappy woman. I suppose you know that from having met so many before. They mostly only get so unhappy when I leave. Stephanie. You married me because I was famous, and who were you? You're nothing but a lazy, spoiled man. If I am, you made me that way. Don't you dare look at me with your pity. You like me being a cripple, don't you, Harry? Still, but you're not a cripple anyway. What's your favorite? Paraplegics. Virgin, is in it, eh? And now you're tied to that damn wheelchair. And you can't stand it, and I'm not. There are only two things we can do. Succumb to our fear or confront it directly. Stephanie Anderson turned hardship into challenge and adversity into an inspiring triumph. Julie Andrews, Alan Bates, Rupert Everett, and Max von Sydow star in a Golan Globus production of Andrei Konchalovsky's Duet for One. <laughs>